Hi ladies and gentlemen who've been watching um, the updates on the sci-fi part of the film that I'm working on. Um, at the moment I'm sitting in the uh, cockpit. Um, I've got two uh, nice chairs here. I've got my steering wheel which is here uh, with uh, which can uh, sort of move around. That's quite nice. Um, to up here I've got a nice control panel that's off screen so it's not going to... Um, be a problem in terms of um, it won't get in the way and people will know that I'm touching the control panel when I'm reaching up to it so just moving the control panel a little bit forwards not quite till it's on the screen but just so that I can touch it and they can see that I'm clearly um, making contact there um, so yeah I'm going to be here in this scene with my friend Zach and we're going to have Megan in the background and it's going to be amazing and um, sort of leaning over and we're looking out into space which is amazing anyway I'll show you a little bit around so that you can see what I've done in order to create this set okay uh, what we have here is our set we have two um, chairs quite beat up that one that's my old chair and that's my new chair and uh, both of them are um, going to be the flight chairs for this room as you can see I've rested my air beds on um, chairs and the reason being is because um, I had to do a different um, sort of look for um, this one of the scenes I was doing because my actors literally were too tall for the airbed so I was shooting them down like this so it made it look like the airbeds were there um, all the way up but they weren't um, what I've got is I've got a yoga mat which is duct taped uh, up here and that is um, just adding to the look of the scene to try and make it look a little bit different to the rest of the ship uh, even though that's not um, that's not necessarily uh, the biggest idea the biggest problem that I've got um, I've got a um, keyboard stand here which acts as my um, handlebars to uh, control the ship, steering wheel, whatever I've got this um, pipe which I'm using uh, just so that I've got something to reach off and touch off screen so that I can make add beeping noises in when I'm touching that off screen and that will be groovy. Got a floodlight there which will be giving main focus of light onto the actors faces at the front of the set lighting them up and um, as uh, Megan comes over the console she should be lit up as well it should be quite uh, quite a good effect you will have seen that in the black and white Anyway, um, a set like this, um, I don't know, right, airbeds, about 10 to 12 pounds each for double airbeds, um, that's quite good, so that's 24 pounds there. Yoga mat is about 4 pounds um, to 10 pounds. Um, let's say we've got, we've spent 30 pounds on just the back wall here. Now each chair here, although you can probably get them from 10 to 15, I've spent about 30 pounds on each chair, so that's 106, uh, no, 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 um, that is, um, whew, 90 spent so far, uh, the pipe isn't really necessary, so don't even bother spending thinking about that. Stand isn't really that necessary, although if you want to spend money on that, that's about 10 quid as well. Um, so at, we're, at the moment we're looking at about 100 quid for the um, set, um, 20 to 30 quid for the light to be um, added, to be shone onto the set, and uh, you'll need a light to be shone on rather than the plain lights if you're using um, a lens that can't, can't accept a certain amount of light into it example when I take the uh, light turn the floodlight off everything goes really really dark and even with the camera adjusting to try and make up for that it just doesn't look quite the same still this has been um, my uh, wonderful little design for my starship it looks pretty good even in color main reason I'm doing it all in black and white is because Considering the budget which I have for this, which is whatever I can get on Job Seeker's allowance per week, um, I don't really have a lot to work with. So, um, you know, we'll see how uh, the rest of the sci fi shoot goes. Then I'm thinking about going a little bit um, to the Dark Ages or possibly even before the Dark Ages. But anyway, you know, um, oh yeah, very important to be used. Uh, the dagger which keeps appearing in uh, the series. I'm not entirely sure how many scenes I'm going to film in here because uh, I want to get a uh, little extra scene in somewhere. So I'm thinking about um, 
I'm thinking about doing that. Anyway, um, tomorrow, or rather later today, I shall be working with Zach and Megan in my spaceship. And um, it'll probably be a little bit more zoomed in than that, and it won't be focusing on the fact that I've got a door there. But, yeah, this is uh, a relatively cheap science fiction space spaceship set. And uh, the beauty of um, this kind of set is these backgrounds, the beds, are probably the cheapest sort of uh, backgrounds that you can get in terms of science fiction material, that sort of thing, uh, because they look pretty damn good. Um, they've got this nice sort of padded effect, and I quite like that. Um, and uh, basically you can also compact them into a small space to store them so you don't have to waste loads of money on storage space. Uh, this, these sort of mats are quite good because you can just drape them over things and they look pretty much like they're part of the background anyway. And people are more focused on what's going on in the scene than the sci-fi backgrounds I think. Um, still, you know, it kind of beats working with flashing lights everywhere because uh, I was trying with metal backgrounds and flashing lights and stuff, and after spending about £2,000, I had literally nothing to show for it. Uh, don't go to B&Q. If you want stuff, you want to go to cheap stores like Pound Stores. Um, you can get this sort of thing at Pound Stores, actually. Um, you can get a load of reflectors and things at Pound Stores as well, um, which will reflect the sunlight out of your car. Um, usually um, and they will help increase the light if you put them to each side of the set and they can shine light into it um, but basically you can get a nice uh, nice looking set like this um, up for quite a cheap price so that's quite good and um, you know with um, the right lighting the right effects you can make the scene look really good I mean for example if I had say um, two blue lights, really powerful blue lights coming in from each side and a powerful yellow light at the front. Uh, filming in high definition that would pretty much cancel out the background and um, you'd just about be able to see it and it'd look kind of metallic. And um, with, th with that it would also amplify the look of the face. Um, so yellow light in front, blue lights from the side if you've got the money for it. At the moment I haven't. I've got the lights, but I'm filming in black and white, so it doesn't matter. Um, I'm going to be using that very same effect, I think, when I do the sacrifice scene, which I'm hoping to work on, possibly even later this week. Anyway, I've waffled on for far too long. Um, please um, comment in the um, comments section if you've um, got any questions or queries about um, what I'm doing, what the film is, or anything like that. Uh, if you're interested in taking part, drop me a note on Facebook. Um, it, or if you're not on Facebook, drop me a note on um, the YouTube channel, that sort of thing. Although generally I'm only really working with people who are in my area on this. Um, currently I'm doing the music, sound effects, all that sort of stuff for it. Although I'm working with my youngest brother on music. Um, we're going to score each part sort of separately. And hopefully we're going to build up a beautiful sort of um, soundtrack for uh, for the film. As, as it stands, um, I've changed the direction that the film's going in. I originally had it so that my main characters um, were going to be constantly on this spaceship for the entirety of um, entirety of the film. But then I thought I can't do this because I I had issues casting that sort of thing not a big deal really I mean I did some rewrites and fixed it up and my cast were brilliant and uh, they uh, were like okay yeah it doesn't matter we can um, we'll just learn the new lines and do it on the spot and they were absolutely brilliant for that so um, huge thank you to my cast for um, coming and go over last week and working with me um, you all did a brilliant job I've got some absolutely amazing footage this story at the moment it ties in kind of weak. It's a lot weaker than it should have been. Um, however, I was working with a 45 to 55 minute script for this film and having cut down from um, 10 cast members, um, it's a lot better now. I think I'm working with five cast members on this section of the script and it's beginning to look really good. So um, anyway, Thank you all for watching, sorry I've waffled for so long, and yeah, 
as I've said, if you've got any questions, just ask them in the comment section. Contact me on Facebook. Do whatever. I don't know. Subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed. Um, send me hate mail. It's all good. Um, love a bit of hate mail every now and then. You know, you when you get hate mail, you really want to up your game. Um, especially when it's from people who don't make videos of their own and they just make accounts and they just hate on everything. I really like those people. I love you. Anyway, um, I'll see you later and uh, thanks and bye.